This video is brought to you with funding from the Nebraska Aviation Trades Association and University of Nebraska Lincoln Extension. This video will focus solely on the best practices to mark meteorological evaluation towers, which we will call MET towers. Proper marking includes paint, aviation marker balls, and guy wire sleeves. The Federal Aviation Administration, known as the FAA, has set guidelines recommending that all MET towers that are less than 200 feet above ground level in rural areas be marked. This video gives directions on how to fulfill these guidelines along with providing video of the marking process. The materials used for the marking process include paint primer, aviation orange and white paint, paint brushes and gloves, measuring tape, permanent marker, orange and white electrical tape, aviation orange marker balls, guy wire sleeves. To begin marking, you should first safely lower the MET tower. This process should follow the MET tower manual provided by manufacturers. This manual should also contain information regarding the MET tower height, which will determine the length of the bands of painted color. Once the MET tower is lowered, measure the length of the tower from base to top. At this time, take the current measurement and divide it by 7. This will give you the height of each alternating band of white and aviation orange. Each band should measure 1 7th the height of the tower. Now that measurements have been planed, paint the entire tower with primer. Priming the steel tower will help protect it from rust and other impurities. Once the primer has dried, mark the length of each stripe with a permanent marker. The bottom and topmost stripes should be painted aviation orange, resulting in a total of four orange stripes and three white stripes. It's recommended to paint at least two coats for both aviation orange and white stripes. While the paint is drying, you can begin to affix the orange marker balls and sleeves to the guy wires. The FAA recommends one high visibility sleeve on each guy wire anchor point that will reach a height well above the crop or vegetation canopy, and another sleeve installed on each of the outer guy wires. The FAA recommends a total of eight high visibility spherical marker or cable balls of aviation orange color attached to the guy wires. Four marker balls should be attached to the guy wires at the top of the tower, no further than 15 feet from the top wire connection to the tower, and four marker balls at or below the midpoint of the structure on the outer guy wires. After ensuring that the marker balls and sleeves have been securely attached to the guy wires, check to make sure the tower has been fully painted. There may be some electrical wires running from the top of the MET tower to the base. If these wires are outside of the tower, it's advised to tape these wires to the tower using electrical tape that coordinates with the white and orange stripes. Once these wires have been secured to the tower, you're done with the marking process. You should follow your MET tower manual's instructions to raise your MET tower again. It's important to remember to register all MET towers with the State Department of Aeronautics. In the state of Nebraska, law requires this. After properly marking your MET tower and completing its registration with the State Department of Aeronautics, you have ensured maximum aviation safety for all low-flying aerial applicators, life flight crews and patients, aerial fire suppression, aerial utility patrols, aerial law surveillance, and other types of low-altitude aviation. Thank you for your interest and for properly marking your MET towers. Properly marked MET towers, as per FAA guidance, does save lives. This informational video comes to you from the Nebraska Aviation Trades Association and University of Nebraska-Lincoln Extension.